Hello, Dr. Barry, and welcome to our mapping video. Before me, you see the GUI, which right now has assumed that every single cell is an obstacle. As the robot moves through, it's gonna update saying this is not an obstacle, and these are where the robot is seeing um, walls from the IR readings. So you're gonna see the robot turn a lot. It likes to read in this orientation. We have a custom send format that we're looking for, so we kinda need the robot in that position. So you're gonna see the robot move a lot just to line up like this um, in each cell so these values are correct. Garrett, would you like to explain the robot? And how Basically, you... we are starting in the bottom left corner or three zero in your standings, three in our standings. Um, so basically the robot's gonna move through autonomously and get in the correct orientation like Kayla was saying and then update the map accordingly at every cell that it can go into. So, without further ado, let's begin. So we can see on the GUI, you can see it updating the IR sensors and um, you'll see in a moment that we've just detected a new one. No one. And hey look, we're in the corner right now. So it's kind of cool because the way we've set it up is live. Plus, you know, we have a whole new world because we're showing you a whole new world. <laughs> Comical. Hey, I'm freaking fast. Uh, just like Kiri. I believe in you, Carrie. So before we look at the final GUI, we're going to be looking for two full obstacles and then a wall in between and we'll also be picking up the IR readings from all the sidewalls. And so that is what we can see here, 5 and 9 and 7 and 11 are full obstacles. You can kind of trace the outside and see these red blocks represent that the wall is detected and we can also see the inner wall is represented with the IR readings here. <laughs> 